Mary Donaldson's refuge in the middle of the storm with Federico de Denmark and Genevieve Casanova, the place where she feels happy. We found out what Mary Donaldson's favorite castle in Copenhagen is, where the princess takes refuge in the midst of a dispute between Frederick of Denmark and Genevieve Casanova. Mary Donaldson, 51, has been facing a terrible media storm for weeks. She gave an interview in which she spoke about her mental health. This is no doubt a strategy that the Danish royal house will be carefully calculating, very concerned about the rumored breakup of the couple when it was planned that they would soon become monarchs to run the institution. In the midst of all this spiral of information surrounding the whole family, we found out what the princess' favorite place is, where she probably likes to take refuge when some marital problem arises. It's Copenhagen's Rosenborg Castle because of its fabulous Renaissance architecture, he told the Financial Times a few years ago, Rosenborg Castle was built by one of Denmark's most famous kings, Christian IV, in the 17th century. The beautiful building houses 400-year-old royal treasures as well as the crown jewels and royalties. It has spiral staircases, rooms full of detail and sumptuous portraits. Among its main rooms is the Knight's Hall, with coronation thrones adorned with narwhal tusks, a type of cetacean, and three life-size silver lions standing guard. Mary also likes to walk the corridors, where tapestries commemorating battles between Denmark and Sweden can be seen on the walls. The fairy tale that Donaldson describes can be seen in the interiors of the palace, which are well-preserved and invite time travel. Of course, Federico's wife has a problem with this castle, it can be visited. In fact, those interested can see the king's private table, his bathroom and several wax figures of former royal occupants. Rosenborg is also home to the exquisite Flora Danica porcelain collection and another collection of Venetian glass in the world, housed in the halls of the tower. This Danish mansion also houses the graceful and brilliant crowns of Danish kings and queens, which are kept in special vaults decorated with stones carved in enamel and gold. They consist mainly of four pieces of jewelry, one set of diamonds, one set of rubies, one set of pearls and one set of emeralds, they are among the finest in the world. Mary also explained to the aforementioned media that some of her favorite places in Denmark include anything related to nature. Without a doubt, it's a place where one finds peace in difficult moments. The forests seem very exotic to me, especially in spring when the beaches open their leaves. The North Sea coast reminds me of Tasmania, both when it's wild and when it's peaceful, he added, Mary Donaldson's mental health. A few days ago, Mary Donaldson gave her first interview after the scandalous photos of her husband with Genevieve Casanova. The princess was surprised to talk about mental health in a Danish TV program, where she also admitted that she has been suffering from depression for years. Federico de Denmark's wife explained to the journalist that experiencing a bad emotional moment can become a serious problem if left untreated, that's what happens with pain. If you don't process it, it can become a complicated grief that affects your quality of life and your health, he explained to the journalist. Explained the Australian-born Australian. We all need help from time to time. But it's important that you don't let others define you. Who you are and who you are, the business and law graduate added. Mary also spoke openly about what can happen to anyone who suffers from mental health issues. In fact, she understands this type of process better than ever after admitting that she overcame depression and now faces all of these contradictions with her husband Federico. Grief is something we carry with us, he said in a broken voice in nature and our mind. Without a doubt, these are the very words that revolutionized headlines around the world and caused the Danish press to start talking about his royal family like never before. Curiosity in life is about failure and moving forward. We think too much about what other people think and feel. I wish we could let that go a little bit, he said.